Grassy, great news. Blizzard has buffed the drop rate for the Herodric cash bounty bags that you receive from completing a bounty or all five bounties in each act. I've posted a link in the description of um, which legendaries you can get from which acts. But the most important one you're looking at is the Royal Ring of Grandeur from Act 1. I've farmed 43 normal bounty bags and 7 T6 bounty bags to show you the difference between the drop rates. And it is 100% drop rate for a legendary bounty bag to drop in T6. And you'll see the difference between the 43 and how many legendaries I get as opposed to the T6 one. This is great news. It makes it much more easier to farm the Royal Ring of Grandeur that gives you the set bonus so you can have one less set item. Uh, as you can see that if you have a Marauder set um, as a Demon Hunter or a Khan set for uh, you know a Crusader and you know so on, you know the charge set for the Barb, it's you always need one extra piece. You can see that the I'm I'm got the Nat set on and I really need a Royal Ring of Grandeur. I just got it right there. Uh, but look how many legendaries I've got. This is all from um, just normal bounty run runs and I've only got one uh, you know Royal Ring of Grandeur from uh, 43 normal bags. So you know it it takes a quite an investment of time. Uh, to do it whilst you're doing it normal. Um, but before the buff, it didn't really matter if you were doing it on T6, T5 or whatever level. It was just a random drop and it was quite rare to get. Where now, you know, what difficulty you can do makes a difference. So again, on T6, it's 100% drop rate. I'm not sure what, uh, you know, the other um, torment levels are, but it is much more better than what it would be in normal so if you can do a higher bounty run to to get these um, bounty bags is you've got to do the five bounties in the axe uh, the ones with the exclamation marks complete them and then you go speak to um, I think it's Tyrael so now you can see uh, this is the T6 and I've got seven cache bags and whilst I was doing T6 runs, I got uh, a bow and a quiver legendary. I was also courteous enough to invite three other players so that they could get the reward before speaking to Tyrael. And as you can see, straight away, the first bag, I got the, shol uh, the shoulders. Second, amulet. This is absolutely insane. Uh, again, an amulet. You know, 100% drop rate for a legendary. Even if you don't use it, you can use the Forgotten Soul that you, um, when you, you know, break it down and, you know, re-roll other stuff. This this is just fantastic. It's a great way of getting, you know, legendaries. I didn't get the Royal Ring of Grandeur for on the 7 T6 bags, but that was kind of a bit of bad luck on my side. But on the ninth bag, um, on a T6 farming, I finally got it. So the proof is in the pudding. You'll see that next. Guys, if you can do T6, if you can do T5, if you're a person that is T6, um, you know, be courteous and try to invite other people so that they can reap the benefits of it. I did that myself. Um, and it's a lot of fun. They made, they made it much more easier. Thanks, Blizzard. Um, if you liked this video, please... Give us a like, you know, subscribe if you like, uh, if you want to, um, leave a comment, let us know, um, and just farm, you know, farm those bounties. And again, don't forget the link that um, I've put that just explains which legendaries you can get. So have some fun in Seasons and D3. It's a really exciting game with patch 2.1. Blizzard has really done a top job. So thanks, guys.